Alexine Drew here and welcome back to the channel. If this is your very first time here, I just want to say welcome. Thanks so much for coming by and I do hope you will subscribe down below so you can check out more videos like today's. So today I am here with the part two edition of sorts of the best eyeshadow palettes for beginners. This is my higher end edition and the least expensive palette in this little grouping here is $32 and the most expensive you'll find is $48. So, if you guys are curious to know what my higher end picks for eyeshadow palettes for beginners are, then let's go ahead and get into the video. And I will also link my collab with Lauren, which was um, this pat the video before this probably, um, which is my favorite palettes for beginners drugstore edition. So, be sure to check that out as well, and let's go ahead and get into it. my friends so I do have a warm and a cool version um, of the least expensive of the grouping of palettes um, and both of them are from like indie brand companies so the first one I want to talk to you guys about is the marvelous mauves palette from dose of colors um, again I do not believe that this is a limited edition and right now this particular palette is currently in stock they also make a brown one that is being restocked. I don't see anywhere on the website that it's limited edition, um, just that it's out of stock. So um, again, if you like this palette though, it might behoove you to go ahead and pick it up in case you want it, um, because I'm not 100% sure. I didn't see anything about it being limited edition, but you never know. So the reason I like this palette so much for beginners is A, the quality of the shadows is spectacular. It really is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. But the other thing that I really enjoy about this palette, particularly for beginners, is the way that they have laid it out. They have laid it out exactly the, the order that you would need to go in for a look. They've gone light to deep. So you literally just go through each one and make it as light or as deep as you want. And I think that is really brilliant and it's super helpful for those of you who are just trying to get into eyeshadows or who are really... Um, unsure about what you're doing. It also does come with a brush. The brush is okay. It's not my favorite brush of ever. And this is a little more expensive just because you only get the five shadows. But for someone who, you know, wants to keep it simple and who, you know, wants it really laid out for them and makes it super easy, I think this palette definitely achieves that for you. And again, this one retails for $32 on the Dose of Colors website. So I highly recommend this palette or the browns one that's currently out of stock. Um, it does, it has the same kind of layout. Or if you prefer a, a warm tone palette, because obviously that one is very cool toned, um, I love the Persona Identity palette. And this was created by Sona here on YouTube, Sona Gaspari, and I believe is how you pronounce her name. Please don't shoot me if I am wrong. Um, but the great thing about this palette, again, is the quality of the shadows. Very pigmented, but easy to blend and work with so you get a nice, beautiful eye look out of it. It has a nice mix of matte and shimmer shades in it. Um, <clears throat> I've done a full review on this palette, though. If you want to see that, I'll try to link it for you down below. Um, but it has a, a quite a few um, like transition shades, um, a few deeper shades, some more middle of the road, and a nice mix of shimmer and matte shades, like this little quadrant over here is mostly shimmer but we do have some mattes all through here so I think you can definitely create an excellent look with this one. This one isn't quite um, put together as easily I guess you would say as some of the other ones that I'm mentioning but overall the quality is excellent and I think that this makes a great palette for beginners as well just because you have a nice mix of colors in it. So the next one that I want to mention to you retails for $34 and this came to me um, through my Beautycon BFF box, I believe. Um, but this is the Cargo Around the World eyeshadow palette. And this one does retail for $34. You can get this at quite a few places. I believe you can use um, Kohl's Cash on it at Kohl's. Um, but you can also get it on their website as well. So this is what this eyeshadow palette looks like. The reason that I love this palette so much is just because of the way... Well, there are a couple of things that I really like. So the quality is very good. I was super impressed with the looks I was able to create with this palette. And the thing I love about this for a beginner or for someone who's new to makeup is that you get a lot of variety for a lot of different skin tones 
and it's all you know just right there for you and it's easy to use and this is just a super neutral palette like make your pardon there's there's no pops of color in this this is a very super neutral very natural eye look which i think can sometimes color can be intimidating in a palette for beginners so that's why i love this one so much they've got a nice range of light shades then they've got a nice range of mid-tone shades and then they have a few deeper shades down here again that light to medium to deep so it's easy to differentiate like what do i do next um they do have a few shimmer shades in here this is a mostly matte satin eyeshadow palette um, but there are a few nice shimmery shades in here if you want a shimmery shade on your lid so again it comes with a brush again not my favorite brush in the world um, but it does come with that which is a nice addition to it and it's definitely worth its value at $34 next one retails for $36 and this one is some is the last three are probably some of the more popular ones you've probably heard of but I think these are great palettes if you are new to makeup and you want to dip your toes in palettes and one of those is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palettes um, <clears throat> and that's what this one looks like here um, it's one of their tin palettes and just like all their other tin palettes it does contain a little mirror at the top and a lookbook I won't bother to open the lookbook so it kind of gives you um, different tutorials on how to achieve certain looks um, <clears throat> it has three looks in it it says three looks it says three steps three looks three minutes is what it says um, but anyway again the reason I love this palette is because of the way that it is laid out and the quality of the shadows I mean that's pretty much the reason that I recommend any of the ones that I do for beginners is because it has all your nice neutral um, this is all neutral I don't know what I'm saying nice matte shades here from lightest to deepest and again if you wanted to you could just go straight across each row and create some looks or if you want to get a little funky you can dip your toes in any of them that you like but it did it does the the light to deep thing so again very easy to figure out the shade quality the quality of the shadows is there and the shade selection is really nice um there's a mix of warm cool and neutral in here which i also really appreciate based on your skin tone and also your personal preference not everybody likes warm not everybody likes cool so this one kind of has that middle of the road situation going so again all matte in this palette so if you want a shimmery shade you would need to bring that in but excellent quality and highly would recommend for someone who's new to eyeshadow all right the next one <clears throat> this is another matte and shimmer um, mixed palette and this is the Tartlet in Bloom. I do not own the original Tartlet. Um, I've heard good things though so if you like cooler tones um, like the Marvelous Mauves palette um, you might enjoy that one as well. But this one is the Tartlet in Bloom. This is the second one. Super high quality packaging on this one. Beg your pardon my phone's going nuts. Um, um, but anyway again setup of this is super easy to utilize for someone who's just trying to figure out makeup lightest to deepest as you can tell that's kind of a trend with all these palettes that i'm mentioning um quite a few shimmer shades and the quality of these shimmer shades are very nice and easy to use and just creates really nice cohesive looks um the quality is there the pigmentation is there but it's not overly pigmented so that it's it makes a mess but again not underly pigmented so great quality here again lots of nice you've got like a neutral row a warmer row and a cooler row neutral warm cool there we go um so you have that variety there as well and this one of course you can get at sephora and ulta just like can the Too faced palette and that one retails for 46 and the last and most expensive eyeshadow palette in this grouping i do apologize for my phone is the kat von d shade and light eye palette i've mentioned this one for quite a few years it's been out for quite some time there is a nice mirror here on the back the names of the shadows are pretty much impronounceable to me um but again i think this is an excellent one for beginners especially if you want an all matte eyeshadow palette because like um like the Too faced one this is kind of a bigger version of that so you do you have your neutral quad you have your cool quad and you have your warm quad and again it's pretty self-explanatory the way that it's laid out which i think is excellent and super helpful for those who are in the beginner realm of makeup. I feel like I'm just saying the same things over and over about different palettes, so I apologize if that feels repetitive for you. Um, but really, overall, the quality, these are a little bit more pigmented, but I feel like they just 
blend themselves. I feel like they just blend into themselves so nicely and are so easy to work with and you can create a cohesive look and you just touch you know each one of the palettes or you can mix it up. So overall again I think this is an excellent palette for a beginner for somebody who's new to makeup or just wants you know that easy eye look you know no must no fuss. So those are my palette selections for my best eyeshadow palettes for beginners higher end edition. I would love to know what you guys like in the comment section below. Um, any recommendations that you have that maybe I didn't mention. Obviously the Urban Decay Naked palettes were not in this video because well quite frankly I don't really like them that much. Um, but for some you really love them. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you found this video helpful please be sure to give a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I would love to dedicate more videos to best blank for beginners so if there's something you want to see whether it be blushes, single eyeshadows, whatever whatever you just let me know that in the comment section below and I would love to make it happen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.